This is a demonstration of bus buffers. An I2C buffer passes signals from one section of a bus to another, typically a section with a bus master and a section with one or more bus slaves. Both sections therefore share the information on the bus, but they are electrically separated. The separation allows each side to have different electrical loading, which can't be supported by direct connection to the bus master. In this case, both sections of the bus operate at the same speed and with the same amplitude electrical signals. Here is a demonstration of the NXP PCA9509. The green trace on the scope is one side of the bus. If I add the blue trace, we have two traces of the same amplitude. These signals are both 3.3 volts in amplitude and they represent a signal that is buffered from one section to another. Because the standard I2C bus specification operates with 5 volts amplitude signals and many new ICs are limited to lower voltages, NXP level translators bridge the gap. In fact, leading edge core logic microprocessors and combination graphics chips will only need 1 volt of power. NXP level translators can easily boost these voltages to legacy 5 volts or the popular 3.3 volt system. The green trace shows the 3.3 volt side of the bus. If I add in the other trace, we see a 1 volt signal. This demonstrates the part making the translation from a 1 volt domain to a 3.3 volt domain. Even if the I2C bus has the same electrical specifications throughout, the bus master may not have the drivability to communicate with all the slaves. The loading of long cables or complex bus structures with many slaves may be connected at the same time. There is a 400 picofarad maximum bus capacitance allowed by the I2C specification. NXP bus repeaters can easily boost the I2C signals and drive heavily loaded buses to as much as 4,000 picofarads, which is 10 times the I2C specification. Here is a demonstration of the NXP PCA9601 being used as a 3.3 volt bus repeater. On the screen, the green trace is one side of the bus repeater, and when I add the other trace, we see that the signal is exactly the same. The bus repeater has simply replicated the signal on the other side. The I2C communications bus is very versatile, allowing a simple system of one bus master to communicate with one or more bus slaves. NXP I2C bus buffers level translators and repeaters provide the system architect and circuit design engineer with options to greatly expand the I2C bus, either physically by extending it off of the main PCB assembly or to include seemingly incompatible slaves that operate at different speeds or supply voltages. The I2C physical layer has only two wires plus ground. NXP buff buffers enable I2C buses to extend through cables and back panels to bridge different supply voltage domains, drive legacy system components, or transmit the I2C traffic over very long distances up to the kilometer range. New generation electronic components are introduced with denser but less voltage tolerant IC fabrication techniques. This creates a problem when we connect these to legacy I2C bus systems that rely on high supply voltage and bus signal voltages. NXP's I2C level translators easily bridge different power supply and signal voltage systems in the range of 15 volts down to as low as 1 volt. NXP ICs that expand and enhance the use of the I2C bus perform more than one role. For example, it is common to require a level translation between two different voltage domains and also to boost the I2C signals. Many times the bus master device is either a low voltage operation part or it lacks the drive capability to meet the I2C specification. An I2C level translating bus buffer solves these problems with a single component.